Now you can customize ACT 365 to satisfy some of your basic needs. In this video, I want to show you the custom fields available to you within Contacts and Opportunities. I also want to show you how you can customize the Opportunity stages to fit your business processes. First, let's look at the custom fields in the Contacts area. Currently in a contact record, on the Info tab, you can see that I use typical contact fields that you'd expect to see on a contact record. There are fields here for company, title, contact information, website, social media, and birthday. But on the right side, I've created some custom fields as well. I have fields for hobbies, business type, customer type, and contract review. Act 365 lets me create up to five custom fields. So let's add one more field here for credit limit. The easiest way to get there is to click Manage Custom Fields. And then here in my Preferences area, I'll make sure I'm on the Custom Fields tab. To add a new custom field, I'll click the Add New Custom Field button. For description, I'll call it Credit Limit. And then there are several different types of fields available here. I'm going to choose Currency. And once I select Currency, a new field shows up beneath that, asking me how many decimal places should this field include. I'm going to say 0 here because I'm only dealing with whole numbers. So now I can click Save. And when I go back to my Contacts area, and click Info, I'll see that this new credit limit field has been added. When I click Edit, I can scroll down, locate the credit limit field, and type in an amount. By clicking Save, it'll convert that amount to a currency. Custom fields like these can also be used in searches. Let's say that I wanted to search for all of my lead customer types. At the top, instead of name, I'll locate customer type, and then type lead in the box. When I hit enter, I will instantly have a list of all the contacts that I've designated as leads. This process is nearly identical when using custom fields for your opportunities. The quick way to get there is to go to opportunities and then click the info tab on any opportunity record, and you'll see the custom fields area on the right. I don't have any custom fields set up yet, so I'll click manage custom fields. Now I can scroll down to the opportunities area, and let's say that I'd like to add a field for priority so that I can rank my opportunities according to their urgency. I'll click Edit for custom field number one. For description, I'll type Priority. And the data type is going to be a drop-down list. I'm choosing this because in order to preserve the integrity of my data, I want to force users to choose from a fixed list. Immediately, I have an additional section called Manage Dropdown beneath that. All I need to do now is to add the values for my list. So I'll click the Add Value button, and I'll type in a value, high. And then I'll do that again for medium, and one more value for low. It's important to note here that the list will display in the exact order you create them in. It will not reorder this list based on alphabetical or numerical sorting, so what you see here is what you're going to get. Once you've added all the values to your drop-down list, click the Save button. Now if I go back to my Opportunities, on my Info tab, I'll see a priority list now. I can edit this opportunity, scroll down to Priority, and choose between Low, Medium, and High. There's one more thing I want to show you in the Opportunities area. Notice that Opportunities have a stage associated with them. If I edit this opportunity, I can see the stages that are available in the Stage drop-down list. Before this opportunity is closed, there are five stages. Leads, Suspects, Qualification, Meeting, and Quote. But what if I wanted to add one more stage called Final Negotiation to this list? Well, that's pretty easy to do. To access any of my preferences like this, I can go to Profile, My Profile, and then choose Preferences. Now I just need to click the Opportunity Stages tab and it lists all the current stages that I have in my system. Notice that you can have a maximum of six stages, and since I'm only using five, I can add one more here at the end. Watch how easy this is. I'll type Final Negotiation. I'll make sure that the Show box is checked, and I'll click Update. I received a success message, so now I can go back to my Opportunities, and if I edit this opportunity, I can now choose Final Negotiation from the list. When I click Save, we'll notice that now there is one opportunity in the final negotiation stage. 
And that's it. Our new stage is in place. So as you can see, Act 365 makes it easy to use custom fields in contacts and opportunities, as well as set meaningful sales stages for your opportunity records.